Welcome back, ladies. There have been a few changes. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Season 2 of Fate, The Wink Saga. As you may know, Season 2 will be released in September 16th on Netflix, and recently we got the official trailer. Many things will happen this season, and the trailer shown some of them. Let's analyze it together. If you don't want to spoil anything, stop watching now, because tons of spoilers are coming in. The trailer starts with a close view of Alfia and the Winx girls in a sort of magic training. It looks like Bloom can fully handle her power now, isn't it? We'll see. Now, this is something new. It seems like Tara expanded her powers, and now she has control over rocks and diamonds. I think the scene has been cut, and what we are going to see is Tara digging into the rock with her magic to free the diamond. Next we see Stella expanding a flash of light. From the shape it looks like she's creating a little black hole. Afterwards, the trailer introduces Flora growing plants onto her hands. She's gorgeous, anyway. Finally we see Aisha with her new powers as well. She has control over weather, as we can see from the little snowfall and rainbow. From what we can see just here, the visual effects are so improved from last season. Also it looks like they're going to use their magic in a more original way too. Moving on, we see Bloom stating she doesn't want to hold back anymore, and then we see her losing control and angry at someone. May he be Marco? Because the scene looks linked to the training Bloom was having with him in front of Rosalind and the other students. Next in the trailer, Flora states losing control is the best part. Months ago, it was said that she's holding a dark secret, might it be that she was sent by Rosalind to manipulate Bloom? We'll see. The new Rosalind is introduced too by saying that the old regime is gone, and it's time to embrace the new one she's introducing. I believe she is referring to the fact that she's replacing the old calmer methods of Pharaoh with a more military approach. Afterwards, we see Stella spying on Sky, Revan and other specialists. She seems worried, are they up to something? Maybe they are discussing about Silva, since we see him escorted by some guards in the next scene. We also see some cars from Solaria's army in the trailer. Maybe it's a hint to Queen Luna coming back this season. In this scene, we see Bloom setting fire to a room with only her, and another character between Sky and Sebastian being protected from the blaze. Bloom states that everything happened to Alfia it's her fault. In my opinion either she is stressed about Rosalind's drastic changes, or she discovered what happened to Farah, as in one of the leaks we see Flora and Tara in the cemetery where she was buried. This can also be linked to the scene, where we see Tara and Ben crying. Or maybe they're crying for the death of another character. A while ago, it was revealed that death is around the corner in the season. One character that could be involved is Tara's brother aka Muse's current boyfriend, since we don't see him in the trailer. Another hint could be Tara's quote, all my people in one place. So can't believe how lucky I am, we know how Netflix likes to play with plot twists and quotes. Also, it would explain why Muses seems to be so down in the trailer and decided to train like a specialist. Of course, this is just a theory. Next we have Sebastian's character introduction, in an attempt to suggest Bloom to be what she is, a teenager. Some people thought he was related to Sebastian from World of Winx, but from which I can see they don't have much in common despite the name. It reminds me more of Avalon by the way he talks with Bloom, and particularly from this leak we had. We only have to wait and see what the role of his character will be. This frame shows what appears to be an updated version of the magical barrier that should have kept the burned ones away. This time it seems to keep Bloom away. It may be part of a plan by Rosalind or a punishment. New romances are introduced, precisely Ravusa, Gracia, and Ridain, I ship this ladder since season 1. Stellatrix is introduced as well, still not clarified if they're going to be a couple or just friends. It would be awesome to see them as a couple. They have such a big potential together. The trailer then gets more serious introducing presumably a blood witch and one of their victims. Then we see Rosalind drawing on the magic of the stone circle. In this scene there's someone, maybe Rosalind, putting a magical object on someone's skin. There's this theory on Twitter, and on Winx Club Russ, that recognize this artifact as the Shop Stone, an artifact used in Winx comics. It absorbs magic and neutralizes it. There is also this theory, that Luna is going to use it on Stella as this picture may hint. Next we have Rosalind in a mysterious warehouse with a strange creature swimming in a cage and another one attacking. I think these are the scrapers. In the date announcement video, Elliot Saltz said that these monsters are joining this season. 
In the first season of Winx Club, scrapers are the smallest component of the army of darkness evoked by the tricks. Does it mean a great battle is around the corner? The trailer gets more dramatic and enchanting at the same time in its second part. It shows Bloom in a fairy tale room with butterflies and trees, Aisha and Grey kissing with a water dance choreography, Musa, Reven, Sky, and Dane training hard, and someone throwing himself into a ravine. He has two arrows stuck in the back. Can't tell exactly who he is, but he looks like Silva. In fact, afterwards we see him running with other specialists. I think he accepted Rosalind or Queen Luna conditions to be released from prison and then became victim of an ambush. This season we are going to know something more about Bloom's past, maybe the truth about her origins is closer than we think. Here we see Bloom trapped in the same prison Rosalind has been for the past 16 years, and this latter seems to be the one who imprisoned our fairy of the dragon flame. As a matter of fact, we see Sky yelling Bloom's name, and pushed by some guards and Rosalind in a place that apparently is the secret passage to her prison in season 1. She has her eyes shining in a white light, the color of the mind magic. In this scene it looks like Bloom caused an explosion, maybe to break the barrier, that divider from her beloved ones. Might be the reason, why she has been imprisoned. Next we see Stella being herded by the barrier, maybe in an attempt to cross it. The final parts of the trailer, are made of little random scenes. First there's someone followed by a blue light beam, again he looks like Silva, maybe the scene is linked to the one from before. What is interesting, is that the light beam, most likely, is a magical arrow, like the one shot by Sky. Might be, that he's seeking revenge for Silva almost killing his father, or simply someone, using specialists weapons against Silva. Then we have Silva and the specialists running, Beatrix using her magic in an office, some couple scenes and Winx making a convergence. I honestly can't wait to see it in action. Now, let's get to the best, and last part of the trailer, the transformation. In this season we are going to see at least Stella, Tara, and Aisha getting their wings. Let's focus on the frames showed in the trailer. I think they kinda wanted to recreate the vibes of CGI Belovix, giving a specific scene to every Winx but seeing them transforming together at the same time. Tara transforms through vines somewhat like Flora in CGI Enchantix, Aisha is covered in water like in Belovix and Stella is wrapped in light ribbons just like in her Enchantix. I think these references are awesome. Best thing is that those are not the only ones. Throughout the trailer we got many other references including Flora with her hands covered in vines like in CGI Enchantix, Aisha's rainbow like in her Enchantix Convergence and Bloom and Sky riding a white horse like in Magical Adventure. That's all for this video, I think fake creators worked harder in this season, and from what I can see in the trailer, surely there are improvements from season 1, including the close approach to the animated series. I can't wait to see the full season in two weeks. Let me know, if you have any theory about it. See you in the next video.